I'm Brad Moon for Best Buy Canada's blog. Today I'm looking at the Wacom One Creative Pen Display. You might recall that several weeks ago I reviewed a pair of graphic tablets by the company called the One by Wacom. The similarity in the naming makes things a little confusing. However, the Wacom One Creative Pen Display is a very different animal from the One by Wacom graphic tablet. This is not a plastic slate, it's a self-contained 13.3 inch Full HD display. What it does share with the One by Wacom graphics tablet is the same pressure sensitive, no batteries required stylus. Now when I first opened up the Wacom One box, I found this coil of cables and connectors that frankly is a little intimidating. We have multiple USB Type-A connectors an L-shaped USB-C, and HDMI. There's also a connector of some sort in the middle that, that uh, connects all of these cables to each other. Fortunately, there are pretty clear directions for connecting the display, and it all makes sense as you start to plug things in. In my case, I had to use an adapter because my MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports, and I needed both HDMI and USB Type-A. I also used a portable power bank because I didn't want to crawl under my desk to plug into power. And because it's the first question I would ask, yes, you do need to be connected to a computer or a supported Android device to use the Wacom One. It has its own display, but it can't be used standalone. There's also no battery. It's not a tablet, so you definitely need the power connection as well. There are a pair of solid flip-out legs that tilt the creative pen display to the perfect angle for writing or drawing. The display also does a nice job of avoiding reflections. The anti-reflective display also provides a more paper-like writing surface than a high-gloss one would. When it's powered up, the Wacom One effectively becomes a second display for my laptop but this is a display that's optimized for stylus input. I mentioned in my previous Wacom review that digital art isn't really my area of expertise, but this gives you an idea of how you'd be able to use the Wacom One. The stylus certainly gives a higher degree of control than moving a mouse around, and the angled input is very ergonomic. The Wacom One is also impressively solid in its construction. There's no flex when you're putting pressure on the stylus. Now here's a short clip from Wacom showing somebody doing something a little more involved with the creative pen display. In contrast, I'm pretty much limited to markup and scribbles, but it's still pretty fun. Students in a graphics art program, or anyone who's interested in digital art or image editing, could probably make very good use of one of these. Wacom has some well-known creative tablets aimed at the professional market, but the Wacom One offers many of the same capabilities at a much more affordable price point. You'll find a full range of computer accessories and peripherals, like the Wacom One Creative Pen Display, at Best Buy. To learn more about the Wacom One, be sure to read my full review on Best Buy Canada's blog.